This is Ben Hall about to call his first Scone Cup. This is over the mile. And a tick over start time. So Lions roars in the gate. Here's Sabak and Skylab, the last one. Will be set and ready. The starter is about to release the big field. And Skylab goes into the outside gate. Ready to go. Red lights on for the Scone Cup. Stand by, they're off and racing now. Palmetto in the centre left fast, showing speed. Sabak in the early stages, attractable. Was good into stride as well and starts to slide through. Then came Kabu, nice and handy. Jojo was a man, nugget, well walled the rail. Palmetto drifts back after that good getaway. Then came Converge, followed by Hosier deep. Then Lions Roar. Further back in the field then was Waterford, who settles in the second half of the field with light infantry man. Next then Berkshire Shadow on the outside of Old Max Sky Lab and last was Charterhouse. 15 lengths top into Taylor. They approach the top of the track. Attractable led by three quarters to Sabak. A length and a half away. Third Kabu box seating. Jojo was a man was next followed by Hosier. Then Well Wall Nuggets in the middle. They were followed by Palmetto. Then came next in the field. Lions Raw travelling deep round that next turn. Waterford line infantry man converges down on the rail about eight off the leader. Further back in the field Berkshire Shadow on the inside. Then came Bold Mac on the rail as they go down the side of the track and back towards the tail was Charterhouse and Skylabs very wide at the 500 metre mark approaching the turn in the Scone Cup of 2024 attractable underneath the bark Jojo was a man Hosier starts to get going then Kabu down the outside Palmetto with also Lions Roar and Well Wall threads through just behind them then came further back in the field to converge trying to thread through 250 left to go Sabak in front light infantry man Kabu is also coming quickly Waterford's trying to thread through and down the outside Skylabs with Lions Raw, Skylab, Sabak just in front on the outside, Skylab and flashing through is Waterford over the top, Skylab might have just won the cup, Skylab might have just beaten Waterford, Lions Raw Sabak was close up, then Wellwall followed by Light Infantry Man running on with Charterhouse, Bold Mac, Palmetto Attractable was next, then Converge, Jojo was a man, next was Kabu, then Nugget didn't do much today Hosier was next and Berkshire Shadow last in the cup Oh, promised a lot and it delivered in spades and they were all over the shop there and Skylab out wide has lunged at Waterford who got out late and between them was Lions Roar in a thriller but he has been a rather enigmatic galloper throughout his career but he puts his best foot forward today Skylab has wound back the clock Paul Perry and Kobe Jennings come sailing down the outside from Nelly last to win it over Waterford who got out and stormed through a gap so it will go the way of fancy perhaps of six here. We'll confirm that in a moment. It will get third Lions Roar and then Sadak behind those. Wow, what a finish. Skylab wins. Waterford probably should have. Didn't have a lot of luck getting into the clear, but uh, you can't take anything away from this uh, six-year-old by real Im impact. It brings up his sixth win today. We were talking when, when we were doing the parade about, you know, being a little unsure what his best distance is. Well, uh, today, first up over 1,600 metres. He's been right on top of his game and that's his third win uh, first up. Yeah, an incredible training performance first up at the mile off the two trials. He placed in both trials. The trials suggested he was going well enough at home. It was just a matter of if he wanted to put his best foot forward here today, and that he did. You know, they rolled along up in front. He was able to get clear running down the outside, and he's won very, very...